Hello and welcome everyone. We all know that each and every procedure or a drug have complications on some extent. As a dentist, we deal with local anesthesia on a daily basis and it's better if we know about the, its complications too. In this presentation, I am going to present you some clinical cases of oral maxillofacial surgery which are based on local complication of local anesthesia. Let's see if you can guess the complication or not. Let's start this problem-based learning on local complication of local anesthesia which is guided by Dr. Bhushan Bhagat sir. Case number one. The patient experiences pain while injecting LA. Because of this, patient becomes anxious and suddenly moves his head to the other side of the operator. This may lead to which complication? Let's find out the answer. The answer for this case is needle breakage. It is extremely rare because of usage of disposable needles. Although it is rare, it does occur. Causes for the needle breakage are bending of the needle, sudden unexpected movement of the patient, entire length of the needle inserted into the soft tissues, forceful contact with bone, use of smaller needles, for example, 30 gauge. Prevention for needle breakage is use large gauge needles and avoid use of old or dull needles of fine gauge. Use long, use long needles for deep injection. Do not insert a needle into tissues to its hub. In this slide, we can see an image of hub of broken needle. Don't redirect the needle once it is inserted into the tissue. Excessive lateral force on the needle is a factor in breakage. Withdraw the needle almost completely before redirecting it. In this slide, diagram A shows common locations for broken needles during mandibular, lingual and long buccal injection. Diagram B shows broken dental needle in medial, medial pterygoid, lateral pterygoid and mylohyoid muscle. In diagram C, anterior view shows broken dental needle in the insertion of buccinator muscles as well as in pterygoids. In diagram D, semilingual view shows a needle in the insertion of the temporalis muscle. These are two radiographs showing broken needles. First radiograph shows bended needle and second radiograph shows broken dental needle in the pterygomandibular space. Management for this complication is when a needle breaks and it is visible, we have to stay calm, instruct patient not to move. Do not remove your hand from patient mouth. If the fragment is visible, remove it with hemostat or a Magill's intubation forceps. When a needle breaks and it is not visible, do not take any incision or do not probe. Calmly inform the patient. By taking radiograph, determine if it is superficial. Panoramic and computed tomographic scanning is used to find retained needle. Retained needle is removed in operating theater with patient under general anesthesia. Case number two. The patient was given mental nerve block. He came after one day and complained about numbness, tingling sensation on the lower lip. What is this complication? Let's find out the answer. The answer for this case is paresthesia. Paresthesia can also called as persistent anesthesia. It is defined as the persistent anesthesia or altered sensation well beyond the expected duration of anesthesia. Patient who is experiencing paresthesia also experiences hyperesthesia and dysthesia which means experience of both numbness and pain. Causes for paresthesia are trauma to the nerve during needle insertion, local anesthesia solution contaminated by alcohol or sterilizing solution near nerve produces irritation, resulting in edema and increased pressure in the region of the nerve leading to paresthesia. Insertion of needle inside a foramen, hemorrhage into or around nerve sheath, edema following surgical procedures. Problem faced during paresthesia are, it can lead to self-inflicted injury, involvement of lingual nerve may impair sense of taste, presence of swelling, itching, oral dysfunction, tongue biting with drooling or speech impediment may present. Prevention, proper care and handling to injection control and cartridge. Management of paresthesia, most paresthesia resolve within 8 weeks without treatment. Sequence of management is recommended by McAdoo. Reassuring the patient, 
explain the patient that it is un not uncommon after LA and normally persistent for at least two months. Examine the patient. Record incident on dental chart. Determine the degree and extent of paresthesia. Recall patient for each two months. If sensory deficit persists for one year, then consult a neurologist. Dental treatment may continue but avoid re-injecting LA into the region previously traumatized now. Case number 3. A patient was given an inferior alveolar nerve block. After some minutes, patient was unable to close one of his eyes and there was asymmetry of mouth also present. What is this complication? Let's find out the answer. The answer for this case is transient facial nerve paralysis. It mainly occurs during inferior alveolar nerve block. Causes for this complication is it is caused by local anesthesia into capsule of parotid gland which is located at posterior border of the mandibular ramus. Usually it occurs during inferior alveolar nerve block or Vazirani akinosi nerve block. In this slide we see distribution of facial nerve. In this image we see mainly terminal motor branches of facial nerve which innervates the muscles of facial expression. These are namely temporal branch, zygomatic branch, buccal branch, marginal mandibular branch and cervical branch. Problem faced during this complication are is loss of motor function to the muscles of facial expression. This is usually transitory. Unilateral paralysis may present. Unable to voluntarily close one eye, protective lead reflex of eye is abolished. Winking and blinking becomes impossible. Prevention Proper care and handling to injection control and cartridge. Management. Reassuring the patient. Contact lenses should be removed. An eye patch should be applied to an affected eye or manually close the lower eyelid periodically to keep the cornea lubricated. Case number 4. Patient was given mandibular nerve block and after some time patient started complaining about having double images of object. What is this complication? Let's find out the answer. The answer for this case is ocular complication. Well, there are many ocular complications and these are namely amoriasis that means temporary blindness, midriasis that means pupillary dilation, tosis means droopy eyelid, diplopia means double vision, strabismus means abnormal alignment of the eye. Causes for this complication are Diffusion of the anesthetic drug in through myofascial spaces or bony openings. Accidental intra-arterial or intravenous injection of local anesthesia. Prevention. Aspiration before the actual injection. We have to give injection of LA very slowly. Treatment. Reassure the patient that it is transient. Cover the affected eye with gauze dressing. Refer patient to an ophthal ophthalmologist for evaluation if it lasts for more than six hours regular follow-up case number five patient was given inferior alveolar nerve block but after two days of extraction patient came up with inability of opening his mouth what is this complication let's find out the answer the answer for this case is trismus pain and difficulty in opening of mouth often after posterior superior or inferior alveolar nerve block. It is defined as prolonged titanic spasm of the jaw muscles by which the normal opening of the jaw is restricted. That is why it is also called as locked jaw. Onset is 1 to 6 days post treatment. Causes for trismus are injury to medial pterygoid muscle is most common. Trauma to muscles or blood vessels in the infratemporal fossa. Multiple needle in penetration. Hemorrhage. Low-grade infection. Excessive volume of solution deposited into a restricted area produces distension of tissues which leads to trismus. Local anesthesia solution into which alcohol or cold sterilizing solutions have diffused produce irritation of tissues potentially leading to trismus. Local anesthesia has slight myotoxic properties leading to a properly progressive necrosis of the exposed muscle fibers. Problem faced by patient during trismus are 
pain produced by hemorrhage which leads to muscle spasm and limitation of movement prevention for trismus is use a sharp sterile disposable needle proper care and handle of dental la cartridges use an aseptic technique practice the automatic insertion and injection technique avoid repeated injection and multiple insertion use minimum effective volumes of local anesthesia management is heat therapy by placing hot or moist water moist towel on affected area warm saline rinses in medication we give analgesic aspirin 325 mg to re- reduce pain codeine 30 to 60 mg every 6 hours to reduce pain diazepam 10 mg for 12 hours it is a muscle relaxant and it is used if necessary to produce calming effect physiotherapy opening and closing of mouth exercises till the patient is free of symptom pain and dysfunction continues for 48 hours then we have to give antibiotic chewing of sugarless gums can be prescribed case number 6 a young boy was given inferior alveolar nerve block for extraction of his decayed tooth after some time he came up with injury on his lower lips where no injection was previously given what is this complication let's find out the answer the answer for this case is soft tissue injury trauma to the lip or the tongue caused by biting and chewing these tissues while still anesthetized causes are biting and chewing lips and tongue it is common in children especially in physically and mentally disabled it occurs due to prolonged anesthesia of the soft tissue problem faced during this complication is swelling and pain till the anesthetic effect resolve instances of development of infection prevention select local anesthesia of pro- appropriate duration a cotton roll is placed between the lips and teeth warn the patient we have to give self adherent warning sticker to physically and mentally disabled patient management analgesic for pain we give antibiotic if there is infection warm saline rinse to aid in decreasing the swelling petroleum jelly to cover the lesion and minimize the irritation in this presentation we have discussed six clinical b- cases based on local complication and we will discuss remaining clinical cases in next presentation thank you